what's your role with uh, Free IT? Uh, my name is Joellen, and uh, right now I'm a volunteer who is interested in moving on to being a staff member and becoming a little bit more dedicated to uh, developing the um, program and working with the board and seeing, helping it to grow. Okay. Um, how did you get involved with Free IT? Uh, through another uh, nonprofit agency, I heard about uh, Free IT, and I had been helping over at another agency. Okay. You just want to help out with this one too? Yes. Yes. The, the, this is a good fit for me. Yeah. Um, I love gadgets. I love tinkering with things, and I think I can learn from them, and they can use some of my skills. Sounds like a good relationship. I think so. Um, what's the most interesting thing about Free IT that you've learned? Uh, the way they're set up, and I, I like their philosophy of uh, getting uh, things back to the community and the people who need it and haven't been able to get to uh, uh, information technology because of cost mm -hmm. and availability, and also uh, their uh, attitude toward recycling. They, they do the clean recycling where it doesn't go off to a, a foreign country and sit in piles and pollute and you know, people can't get to it. Okay. Is there anything else that you would add about free IT that you like? Or that you I like the people. Um, everyone I've seen and uh, met and that either stays here or comes through as a volunteer to get a, a computer has been very, very nice. Everybody is very cordial. They, they get along. I haven't seen anybody not get along. It's good. It's a real good, friendly environment. Um. So, can anyone come get a computer? Yes. Um. Mostly, uh, I recommend coming on sales nights, but uh, we would not turn you away if you came anytime we're open. Okay. How did you get involved in free IT? Uh, a guy I worked with told me about it, so I started volunteering. And uh, it came and went. I volunteered pretty consistently and then skipped a little bit. But lately, I've been uh, coming to uh, all the open hours. Mm -hmm. And um, I just enjoy uh, doing it. What's the most interesting thing about free IT that you think, or the best thing? Uh, the best thing is that you actually get to learn while you're volunteering. Mm -hmm. Okay, how's that? Well, uh, it doesn't matter what level of computer knowledge you have. We'll find something for you to do, and you can move up um, almost to uh, any level because we do tech support. Some people bring their uh, laptop or desktop in, and it's just acting crazy. And uh, so we do anything from test mice, and test keyboards, to troubleshooting major problems with the computer. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, do you want any more on him? Would you say you mind saying in a sentence again um, that everyone? That the computers are available to everyone. I want to like, sure that what are the requirements, or how would someone who's eligible for a computer? Everybody's eligible for a computer. Um, the computer itself is thirty dollars, and a complete system with monitor, keyboard, and mouse is fifty dollars. Um, there's no um, particular requirement to get one. Okay. And you guys, um, I think I heard them that they provide like lifetime support for it. Um, software support. I'm not sure what the term is on the hardware side. That's what we were about to find out. Got it. <laughs> okay. You think it's good? Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can you just tell me your name and your role at Free IT? Uh, my name is uh, Joel Isler. I am the current sitting board president of the organization. Um, I oversee the board of directors and I also oversee many of the programs at the organization. Um, I, I am an unpaid volunteer. Um, so tell me, how does free IT work? What is it? Um, what could people get from it? Free IT is a all-volunteer nonprofit. Our, our mission is essentially to take um, donated or discarded equipment, being computers, uh, and get them to those in need. Um, we are also advocates for free and open source software. So in the process of getting computers to people, we advocate uh, for free software, open community alternatives to things like Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac OS. Cool. What do you guys do with the recycled computers? 
The recycled computers, the ones that we can't get fixed, uh, we sell to a computer recycler here in the state. And what they do is they come and pick up the computers and they mine the precious metals out of them, melt the plastics down to be recycled and reused. Um, so everything that comes through here usually um, can be fixed, but if it can't, we, uh, we make sure that it goes to a recycler and not a landfill. Okay. Um, so we have um, a social justice aspect of our organization, so we try to make sure that people that don't have access to computers get them. Mm -hmm. um, an educational justice aspect, we want to make sure people are educated, know how computers work, they're comfortable with computers, they're not afraid of that box that sits on their desk. Um, and an environmental justice aspect, uh, which is you know, protecting the environment through computer reuse and not necessarily um, just throwing it in the trash or just directly recycling the material. That's great. Can you tell me how someone would find out about Free IT or how do they get to you? Uh, people usually get to us through word of mouth. Uh, we haven't done much marketing. That's been one of our weaker sides of the organization. But we have people that you know somehow find out about Free IT, maybe through a friend. Or they had a positive experience and they got a computer for volunteering. I tell them, hey, there's this great organization called Free IT Athens and you can go volunteer for a computer. You get computer experience in the process and, and they come to us. Um, we have done some, some grassroots community organizing with flower, flyers in uh, low-income public housing neighborhoods and social service agencies. Um, we are on, on lists of uh, places to volunteer for community service. Some people come to us for that. Um, but mostly it's just been word of mouth um, and uh, sometimes advertising by the uh, local papers, but that's usually once every two years we get focused on it and we get a lot of volunteers and a lot of donations at that time. But I would say word of mouth is probably um, the traditional way and the most effective way that we've gotten volunteers to come in. So, yeah. um, so can you tell me how it would work if if someone wanted a computer and they come to your door, what's the process like for them? You mentioned that they volunteer. Is it like an earning through hours sort of thing? Yeah, they earn through hours. Uh, we set up a volunteer orientation process. So we have people come in, they get a 30 to 45 minute orientation about what the organization is, what we do, what people can do while they volunteer, and what we expect of volunteers when they volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, once they come through the orientation, some people will stay, some people will never come back. Uh, the ones that do stay um, work in many different areas. A lot of it is um, computer recycling, like learning how to take the computer part that we have donated, fix it, put the free operating system we put on there, um, pull parts, sort parts, test parts, um, they can do technical support, learn how to do technical support. Um, a lot of the volunteers that get more involved and stick around go into nonprofit management so they can help us uh, manage the organization and get, get skills that way. Wow, so, so they get really involved just right yeah. off the bat. Yeah, a lot of people do. And some people come through just for the computer and they take it home and, and that's okay. That's our mission is to get computers into the hands of the people that may, might not necessarily be able to afford a machine. And we don't think anything of it if they, if they get the computer and they go. We just want to make sure that they're comfortable, they at least learn something, and they're happy and they have a computer. So that's great. Most important thing. Um, what do you like most or what's your favorite thing about Free IT? Um, it combines a lot of my interests. Um, I've always been somebody that's been interested in technology. Um, I'm a social worker, so I, I have an interest in people. Um, whenever I talk to people about Free IT, I always tell them it's, it's, it's definitely a community. Um, technology is just the social lubricant. Um, we do have a small community here of people that come in and learn how to fix computers. And they, they like it and they like the people that are here. People from all different kinds of backgrounds, socioeconomic status, some people that are, are transient, homeless, make victims of domestic violence, it doesn't matter. Um, they get together around the computer, start working on it, and it's, it's, it's really special. Um, but the most, uh, most uh, amazing thing to me is uh, usually seeing somebody learn something or get involved with a particular machine that they were completely afraid of, or they said, oh, I'll never be able to do that. And then a couple of weeks later, they're directing other people on how to fix a computer. Um, the other thing is, is seeing somebody take a computer home for the first time. Could be a student, could be you know, uh, an elderly woman that never had a computer in her home. It could be a family that's getting a computer for the first time. Um, it opens doors to a world of uh, technological knowledge, 
um, and access to services. Um, society is being augmented to the digital realm, and it's it's our job here to try to get people to be able to be to get access to that. So that that's a that's a big part of it for me. And it's it's fun. Yeah. You know, I like doing it. It's a lot of fun. Looks like a lot of fun with people you have around here. It sure is. And it's like a little beehive. People are running around and staying active. And it, cool. it, it is a lot of fun. I have one last question. Sure. Um, where is free IT going after this? Uh, that's a that's a very good question. Um, I personally, and this is my personal personal vision for the organization, I'd like to see free IT uh, grow into a larger space, a larger organization. Um, a place that has a community center that's open 24 hours, seven days a week with the computer lab for people to access the web, for people to also learn how to fix computers, get computers. Um, I want it to be very community based, just like we are, just, just uh, augmented into a larger uh, realm. I would also like to have uh, an actual store for a thrift store because we do sell parts and we do sell computers, um, a technical support area and a training area for people to come and learn. Um, and also a hacker space. And hacker spaces are places for ultra geeks and ultra nerds to come and uh, have a place to solder and build things. Um, and I'd like to tap into the university students here that don't normally volunteer with us yeah. and give them maybe a space to where they can um, come up with neat ideas and, and get creative and create a larger tech community and a tech draw to Athens, Georgia, which might eventually hopefully help the economy. Um, so those are things that I, I would like to see with free IT Athens and I hope that that it does happen uh, in the future. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Right. What's your favorite thing about board meetings? Board meetings? Um, organizational uh, meetings. Organiza or, yeah. yeah, we changed the name from board to organizational meetings to try to get more people involved, which it's worked, by the way. <laughs> right. It has worked. Um, I would say my favorite thing is um, the personalities start to come out, you know, um, whether that's good or bad. Um, can I say my least favorite thing? Yeah, please. Um, my least favorite thing is uh, that we don't Personal follow. <laughs> yeah, that could be could be a favorite mm -hmm. and a, a, a dislike. Um, it's it's the uh, the fact that we don't do I think it's Robert's Rules of Order. Um, you know, where we say yeah. motion approved and passing right. and things like that. Um, that that ends up making the meetings turn like an hour meeting to like a four hour meeting. People adding things to the agenda when it wasn't in the first place. <laughs> bad. So maybe that's one of the things I'd like to see change as well, is uh, maybe some more structure in that, in that area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, anything else you want to say? Create has is really kind of changed my life, for sure. How long have you been with it? I've been volunteering for about three years. They're about. Um, and so, it's kind of giving me a, a purpose now, you know, something I found. So it was here before you got to it? It was here before I got to it. I did not start it. Okay. Um, Who was it started by? It was started by three graduate students at the uh, University of Georgia. Um, two of them were technology based. I think the other one was just a grad student studying something else. It was like a local position. But uh, they copied an organization which was um, called Free Geek, which is in Portland, Oregon. Um, they started the whole computer recycling movement, which started around 2000. Before that, nobody had ever, I should say the computer reclamation movement, nobody had ever um, thought about reclaiming the machines. You know, they were all just recycling them and sending them to China to be picked apart by low wage workers and these hor horrible hazardous chemicals, you know, really hurting people. That's still being done. Um, but I think the efforts of FreeGeek inspired hundreds of collectives all over the U.S. and around the world to start doing what uh, we're doing here. Um, also, we were, I think one of the founders was uh, inspired by Bike Athens too, the local bike recycling program, kind of mm -hmm. like, well, we can do that with computers, you know, and they wanted to make sure that they could recycle some stuff, and it kind of blew up, you know, and the same thing happened to Free Geek, when the guy that started it, I think he was doing it out of his kitchen, and now they have a massive warehouse, um, and they have a community center, and a thrift store, and they recycle hundreds of thousands of pounds of electronics every year, and get, you know, thousands of computers to people that need them, so. Yeah. That's great, you guys are on your way. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's cool.